Welcome back to a new video. It's been a while and today we're going to create a gradient text interaction like this one. And it will also work for new sections when they scroll into view. So we can have text animating in like this with some smooth gradients and you can go crazy with it, but maybe this is a bit too much. So let's jump into how you can create this for your website. I've set up this project in Webflow, but you could use any platform. The effect is created with pure CSS and JavaScript. In this project, I just have a bunch of text. So no gradients or no interactions yet. Interaction uses some custom code that I've added to the project. I'll run over how it works at the end of the video. So if you want to know the workings of it, keep watching. Otherwise, I'm just going to show you how you can actually apply the effect on your own side. Say we have this text here and I want the text splash of color to be a gradient animation. I'll create a span around it first. So I'll wrap it in a span. In this span, I'll give a class. So I call the class TLD gradient green. I've set the code up so it looks for the classes that have a name that start with TLD gradient. So here I'm implying that this Gradient should be green. So I'll move down here to the gradients. We'll create a new gradient for the text. I'm gonna turn it on the side because I'll be moving it from left to right. And then the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create two new points. This will be the starting point and the ending point of the gradient. If I want the text to be this white color, then I'm gonna create a point here at 75% and set it to the text color. And also for 100%, to use the same text color. So this segment from 75 to 100, that's what the text will look like in the beginning. And then we'll actually move the gradient and it will end on the first 25%. The animation is done. I wanted to have a gradient that maybe starts from some kind of green color and ends on maybe a bluish color. And so right now it will start with this white, it will fade through blue and end in this green to blue. And I can also add more steps in between if I want to add just a bit of extra flair. So we could say that it fades first through pink and then ends up in this uh, green to blue. Then I'm going to clip the gradient to the text. So in the designer it will look like this. We can actually publish now and then we should be able to see how it looks. Okay, so when the text scrolls into view, we see the gradient animation and it animates. Let's just go a bit up again so we can actually see that right now the text is white and when it enters view, it animates the gradient. So now I want one that just kind of fades a color over it. So it starts with the white text and ends with the white text. It just has a little uh, gradient uh, while it's scrolling in. Let's do this sentence here. And we can also take this so it spans across multiple lines. Let's say it take a bit more. We wrap it in a span, create a class. So that one I call TLD gradient splash. Okay, so here, of course, I want to, it to start with the text color. So put this one on 75%. This will mean that the last 25% is the white color that we want. The starting point, I'll also put the text color and I will put it on 25%. So we'll also end on the white. And in between here, I can just add whatever colors I want. So let's add some colors. Okay, I'm just gonna do this little red and bluish fade, clip it to the text and we have it here. So this will run over the text, but end in the same color. And then the last style I want to do, I'll start with a transparent text and then it will end as white text, fading through some kind of color. So here again, I create a span, call it till the gradient appear, create a new gradient, turn it, okay, starting point, make it transparent on 75, ending point 25. And I say that's the text color. And in between, let's add a bit of color actually gonna do white transparent instead just to make the colors a bit nicer i'm not sure how this is gonna look but now i added uh, some some gradient colors clip it to the text so it will start transparent and it will end as the white let's publish and see what it looks like okay we have the first one still going And this one that starts white, but then has the gradient that goes over it and some white again. And the reveal from transparent to a text color. 
Yeah, so that's how you can set this up and create your gradient animations and interactions. Let's run over the code a bit so we actually can understand how this works. So back in my Webflow project, there's also a clonable linked below. In the page settings, I've added a bit of code. In the head tag, there are these two different uh, tags. So first the style tag, which applies to all classes, which have a name that starts with tilde gradient. I add the transition time to set how fast the animation should be. You can change this if you want it to be slower or faster. I set the background position and I set the background size. So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm expanding the gradient background to be four times the size. And that's also where the 25% and the 75% comes in. I tried to make a visual just to make it a bit more clear what's going on. So this is how I wanted the gradient to end in this example. And I wanted it to start like uh, this with the white text. These two colors or gradients will be part of the entire uh, gradient transition. So when I expand the background size to 400%, I essentially create four of these slots. I divide it up so I know that the last 25%, that's where I'll start. And the first 25%, that's where I'll end. And everything in between, that will be what you see when it's transitioning. So I'll essentially move this gradient clipped over the text. So that's why when we apply this gradient to the text in the designer, it will look like this. But in reality, you'll only see this uh, part, the 25% at the time, and then we'll just move it with the interaction. And that is the next part of the code. We have the script tag here, waits for the page to be loaded, finds all of the elements with the TLG gradient class. And then we create an intersection observer that will trigger when 80% of the element is visible. So when the element is visible, we'll animate the background position to 0%. So we'll move the background from left to right. When it goes out of view, we'll move it back. That's basically the interaction. And because we just set this with inline styling, it will apply with the um, transition time that we set with the other CSS. There you have it. This is how you can add a bit of splash of color to your website with this interaction. Super simple to use. Hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Have a nice day.